Hello again, Grown Black Folks Talk, Types of People to Leave in 2022, Part 3, Second Handers. Now, I'm not talking about people that go to Goodwill and buy secondhand clothes. No, I'm talking about people who, there's a lot of people that fall into this class. The narcissist falls in here. The people pleaser falls in here. These are people with nothing going for themselves except as they receive it secondhand from other people. They do not exist to themselves except in the eyes and the approval of the people around them. The narcissist is completely dependent on whoever the narcissist target is for supply to feel like they have value. The second hander is a people pleasing. The, the, the people pleaser is a larger version of this. Both of them need amazing amounts of attention. Both of them need amazing amounts of affirmation. Both of them in slightly different ways will suck you dry. The people pleaser will suck you dry by setting up situations for you of chaos in a crowd around you, whereby the chaos eventually sucks you dry because the people pleaser will try to keep people that have no business going together together. I shared with you about the director. He just felt that he had to have all these different people. You had to have the women and the men who were taking advantage of them at the same time because he needed their attention and approval, all of them at the same time. The narcissist is more direct. The narcissist will work his way into your life or her will, and, and by the way, all of these come in women, by the way, but, but they will work their way into your life and then begin to suck you dry. For them, you do not exist except what you're doing to make them feel like whatever it is they want to feel like that particular day. If you, there are other varieties of this as well, but they basically, those are the two big ones that we encounter. But they basically have no life. They basically have no life. They have no internal morals. They have no internal ability for loyalty. They have no internal ability to stand. They have no backbone. People please are the absolute worst with this. They have no backbone. They go what the people please goes whatever way the wind blows, and so does the narcissist. Because the narcissist is going to do is going to go whatever way he's going to get the most attention. The poster child for this on the world stage is Donald Trump. As a narcissist, poster child. Don't know if he's an actual narcissist. No one has diagnosed him, so it's important to say that. But you can observe his behavior. But before we go all the way out that far, look around you and see who these people are. A lot of our problems in relationships, men and women, friendship and romantic, is that there's people here who really only see you as supply. They have no life of their own. They need to get it all from you. Uh, thank you to subscriber Tori T, who put me in contact with a video, um, Larry Reed, whom I normally do not watch, but this was very instructive, interviewed Mrs. Aventer Gray. And Mrs. Gray explained how her husband, quote unquote, quote, approached her. He asked her what she was doing and had she had the power and the ability to do what she did, took her phone, called his number, and that is how he got his number into her number into his phone. She, he did not ask for permission. He came seeking what he could get from her and then intruded. This is secondhand behavior because he did not come offering anything from him. He came imposing on her for what he could get from day one. See, a second-hander has nothing to offer that is not from someone else. Now, I've said in a different video with another way of looking at the people pleaser, a lot of times these individuals look good, but this is because they have dressed themselves with all the life they have sucked out of other people. They're at the proverbial second-hand store on everybody. And they can, but you will find out very quickly that they have no life outside of the crowd. 
slightly different variation on that, but they have no life outside of having a whole lot of people around them to give them, they don't see themselves except in the reflection of someone else. The, the poster child for, for people pleaser of this type is Ken Lay. Ken Lay, for those of you who need to know, was the head of Enron. Some of you listening to me are not old enough to remember that. But Enron was this incredibly corrupt, messed up company that came out of Houston, Texas. And between it and WorldCom kicked off a preview of coming attractions in the Great Recession. The company was that big. Um, uh, to, to give you a sense of how big that is, some of you have heard of FTX that collapsed. FTX had about twice as many assets as Enron, but you got to think about the passage of time. Enron was the biggest corporate bankruptcy of its time at that time. $50 billion in debt, $40 billion in assets. Ken Lay tried to determine what he was going to do to, in order to try to salvage this situation with polls and focus groups because this man was completely incapable of knowing what he needed to do and was completely incapable of understanding that what he needed to do was tell the truth a lot earlier than he did so they could clean up their books. But Ken Lay had been doing this since 1987. 1987 to 2001, never grew a backbone anywhere in there. Let his subordinates pretty much do whatever they want to do, would not check them. A uh, couple of names, one name that you may know if you follow this is Jeff Skilling. And then when Jeff Skilling decided he was going to up and leave, then Ken Lay came in and tried to take over. He had another good subordinate named Richard Kinder, but Skilling didn't want Kinder. Kinder went on to found Kinder Morgan, Morgan <laughs> which ended up buying up some of Enron's pipelines on the cheap later on. Kinder Morgan is a very well-run company to this day. But, you know, Ken Lay couldn't stand up to Skilling and the rest of the board and let that man go out the door. Ken Lay has passed away at this point. So there are a lot of other little details I could give, but again, we try not to be petty. That was, those are just to illustrate the point. Second-handers will wreck your life. Because they only see you as some kind of mirror. And they have to have a lot of mirrors. The narcissist, however, will personally attempt to suck you dry. The people pleaser will have you in chaos around them. Because they don't have, there's nothing going on here or here that stabilizes them. And there's a lot of people like this. Sometimes you meet groups of friends and circles of people who are combinations because they also get into codependency. You can get into codependent relationships with people like this. I'm an empath. Narcissists love to date empaths because we will generally try our best to meet everybody's needs until we learn what's going on and have some boundaries. But we also will work hard with people pleasers. I've done that now a couple of times. We will work hard with people pleasers because, like the people pleasers, we want to see everyone having what they need. But an empath tends to have a moral code. We're not, we, once we understand that people are being hurt, it's not in us to want to do that. Now, there are dark empaths. That's a whole other discussion topic for a whole other video. But generally, do have a moral code about right and wrong because that's necessary. People pleasers don't. They don't. They want to do whatever is the most pleasing to the public that they depend on for their sense of self and their sense of personhood. They have no sense of purpose. They have no sense of morals. They have no sense of self. And therefore, they will not know how to honor you if you have any of those. Leave them in 2022. Second-handers, leave them in 2022. A short, grim video. Y'all have a good day now. Goodbye.